The era of the pandemic has been a very good advertisement for residential property as an asset class. And our new summer edition of the Price Predict Index demonstrates the point really well. Our analysis of sales activity and prices in capital cities and regional markets across Australia has revealed a series of highly positive outcomes pointing to strong price growth in 2021. Many jurisdictions have had the best results on sales trends we have seen in the six years we have been conducting our quarterly surveys. And they include Sydney, Perth, regional New South Wales, regional Queensland and regional Western Australia, while Brisbane has had its best results in 2015. Other precincts have done outstandingly well with prices. In regional Victoria, 92% of suburbs and towns have had growth in their median prices in the past 12 months. In Hobart and Tasmania, 90% of locations have delivered growth, while 80% of towns in regional South Australia and 81% of Canberra suburbs have had price uplift. Now, looking at it from another perspective, uh, Canberra and regional Tasmania have both had some level of house price growth in every one of the past nine months, and that means since February when the pandemic struck the nation. While Adelaide, regional Queensland and regional New South Wales have all had growth in eight of the nine months. And one of the dominant themes in this edition of the Price Predictor Index is the trend of people relocating from the bigger cities to more affordable locations that offer lifestyle. This trend has been gathering speed for a number of years, but it has been enhanced by the pandemic period with its enforced lockdown phases. Regional areas in particular have attracted increased demand as a result of this pattern. And in the most populous states, that's New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland, the regional jurisdictions have outperformed their capital cities on the number of suburbs and towns with rising sales activity. Collectively, in those three states, the regional jurisdictions have had a total of 223 growth markets compared to 174 growth markets in the capital cities. And regional towns have also excelled in South Australia, Tasmania, and Western Australia. Sales activity is rising and prices are responding to that. What started as a steady drift of people moving from the big cities to the smaller cities and to regional areas has turned into something approaching a stampede. And we know from other research that first home buyers are one of the most active cohorts in the market. The lending data shows that the market share of first home buyers is the highest it's been in more than 10 years. And that is also reflected in the results of this quarterly survey for the price predict index. In many of our capital cities, the best results in terms of the number of suburbs with upward momentum have been the cheaper areas. So those are just some of the highlights of this new summer edition of the price predict index. It's one of our most popular reports because it provides a reliable forward indicator of what's likely to happen with property prices and every significant town and suburb across Australia. It includes our national top 50 list of supercharged suburbs and our national top 50 list of the most consistent markets in the nation. It also highlights the top 10 municipalities in Australia in terms of uplift and sales activity uh, leading to strong price growth. So get yourself a copy of the new summer edition of the Price Predict Index to find out what's going on in real estate markets across Australia in 2021.